Good evening, everyone. February 4th, birthday banter blitz with LaFong. Thank you so much to everyone for being here with me on this very special day. Um, I mean, I already celebrated with friends uh, last Saturday. Uh, today, I had a family dinner, but other than that, I decided to spend part of my birthday with you guys, the chess. 24 community super glad to be here with you guys um it's a very happy day today what's up zia oh my god steph is in the chat from phil and steph happy birthday lafong thank you so much wow zia undisputed arthur is here a lot of people are here on chess 24 wishing me happy birthday thank you so much hello to the twitch community if you guys are on YouTube, unfortunately, I can't read whatever you wish me. So uh, please join the party on Chess24 or Twitch. It will be a pleasure to chat with you guys. Um, it is a, uh, it's really a good day, and I plan to uh, play some chess. Although I don't guarantee that the chess will be good. I don't have cake with me. I have this uh, bottle of wine that I'm gonna drink uh, sadly by myself. Um, but hey, I'm planning to go out after and meet, uh, meet some friends. So I just wanted to advertise that this, uh, famous effing legend coffee mug can also serve as a wine cup. So just as you guys know, uh, this cup is for sale in the chess 24, uh, store. So you guys go ahead and get yourself a beautiful mug. So good to be with you guys. I'm sorry about the balloon. It's not 100% inflated because uh, I did inflate it for my birthday on Saturday. And uh, now this is the, the rest of the, uh, the air left and balloon. So hopefully it's going to stay up like this at, at least until the end of the stream. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, take some, some challenges. Uh, go easy on me, guys. Um, I don't have anything to win today because I think I'm really far from 3,000 which is a good news because I don't have anything to, uh, to lose either. So let's go ahead and take a first challenge. I will take maybe Undisputed, who wished me happy birthday earlier. So let's go for Undisputed. All right, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play E4 and uh, cheers with you guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. It's been, um, I don't know, has it been half a year that I streamed for, uh, for Chess24 yet? Feels like I've been streaming at least since, uh, since September or maybe even earlier. You guys let me know in the chat. I have no idea, but it feels like I've been with you guys uh, for a while. Jazzy Chess, what's up? So I'm playing the pan of variation here. I'm most likely getting an isolated pawn whenever he takes on C4. Sometimes black, uh, oh, okay, this line. This line I remember is some theory. I think I'm supposed maybe to take and play queen b3 or is it queen b3 first? I remember I prepped this. This is a this is a probably like a 1999 story or maybe a 2001 story. I never played it for e4 in my life and I prepped this specific line against someone who was playing this line with bishop g4. And I remember um, mixing up the move order. I, I either play queen b3 too soon or I took too soon and I lost in 20 moves. And that was the last time I played E4 in my whole life. I mean, I've never played E4 and uh, maybe maybe this game gave me some uh, some nightmares, uh, but I, I don't remember specifically what happened. Uh, I think he was supposed to take here and let me take on B7. Uh, now he might get into, maybe run into some problems. If I go here, takes, takes, knight D4, bishop B5 check is maybe an issue for him. I'm not too sure. Let's go here and see what happens. Um, D5. If he takes, I cannot really take because he's going to take back with the bishop here. So, okay, let's take like this. And I really have absolutely no clue what's going on here. He's attacking my queen. So I got to go back here and uh, defend my pawn. He can take here. I'm going to take back with the knight. Queen A5, knight C3. Um, I got my isolated pawn to... Wait a sec, could I play knight d4 here? So knight d4, maybe my, my pawn will be weak. Knight c3 is better, so I keep a better defense on uh, on d5. 
Now his issue is how is he getting his pieces out? I mean, if he pushes e6, it's not really great because I take, he has to take back with the f pawn. Um, if he goes g6, I might have queen d4, which in some lines could be annoying. Although uh, queen d4, knight f6, queen e4 check, he can play b5. Uh, how do I punish him here? Maybe bishop g5 and d6. Is this annoying enough for him? Bishop g7, d6, f6, and then I go back. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, position is messy. And uh, okay, well, here, I think he was not precise. I think here, the problem with his play is that he might have some trouble castling here. Um, he might have to go bishop e7. Uh, and then maybe rook e1, castles. Can I put enough pressure on him? Or can I push d6? Queen takes. Queen takes. Knight, queen a4 check. Is this enough? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I misplayed it. Or maybe queen b3. Queen b3 makes some sense. Maybe forcing uh, forcing b5. And then maybe d6. Queen takes. Rook d1 and rook e1. Does this give me enough play? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm... Uh, I'm having fun here. So let's play d6. The idea is that uh, trying to take advantage of the fact that he didn't castle yet. And after queen takes, I might play rook. Okay, he goes here, but now I think I have an easy play with check. He has to go king f8. Uh, bishop here fails to knight d5 or something. And now uh, rook d1. And how does he deal with uh, with this? Okay, here now I can play at least, at least knight d5. Knight d5 looks good enough. Takes, I go king g2. His bishop is loose. And um, if he goes queen back, he might have some issues with the pin over here. So let's see what he does. But uh, so far, I think I like what I'm seeing. Uh, I can at least taste, take this over here. Here, I'm going to go king g2. And now I'm threatening knight d7 check. He goes here. Can I play queen c3? Is queen c3 unpleasant for him? Or should I just play here? But here as queen c7. Uh, let's be precise here. Okay, queen c3, threatening a double check. So his king has to go away somewhere. If he goes here, I have at least knight g4 check. Um, but the biggest threat is something like knight e8 check, double check and win the rook or something. So he's really in trouble here. Um, bishop e5, I'm just going to take with the rook. And I think it's pretty hopeless for him. Pretty proud of that game. I don't know if... Uh, the fact that he was 1500 helped me, but uh, it was a nice attacking game. I, I liked it. He has to go king g8 here and then just get the queen. GG undisputed. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing. Uh, let's uh, get a next opponent. Uh, let's get Mr. Jazzy Chess, who did wish me happy birthday. All right. Well, not that it's a criteria. <laughs> I was just uh, stating something completely independent. Mr. James Henderson. Is today your birthday? Yes, it is. It is my birthday today, as you can see with the balloon and the title of this stream. Thanks so much for being here on my birthday. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to me to get to spend part of my birthday with uh, with you guys. It's uh, it's really fun. It's really fun. I'm very, very happy today. What's up, Burns? Good to see you. Okay, I'll play E5 here. I really don't like uh, the fact that he played e6. I feel that his bishop now is completely uh, trapped for life. Um, I want to play h3 and g4 at some point. I wonder if uh, maybe bishop e2 is more precise. Um, and then I will probably still castle uh, kingside. I feel that castling queenside is a bit dangerous. I'll let him play knight f5. Uh, bishop b4 makes no sense because um, taking is not really good for him. Just gives up the dark square bishop. Um, can I play? Okay, I think I'm going to go here first. h3, there's also always h4. Knight here. Now, I got to be careful. So you know what? I'm going to put my bishop here first. So if he goes knight f5, I have bishop f2. And the bishop is doing a great job defending d4 here. And I want to push h3 and g4. Um, here, but well, he's maybe threatening to take this, but I'm really not concerned. Um, I could play knight b5, I could play rook c1 and give up a pawn, uh, a lot of options here, let me think, maybe queen d3, queen d3 makes some sense, I think it does make sense, he takes, I take back with the pawn, 
Um, it's not that easy to attack my queen. I.E. Charlos, what's up? Thanks for the wishes. I appreciate it. Let's see what my opponent does here. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Um, so next moves, I'm, I'm trying to play h3 and g4. Fatty Lumpkin, good to see you in the chat. Thanks for being here. Um, he plays f6. You know what? Let's uh, force him to, uh, to commit to something. Either give up his bishop or go back. But now that he goes back, I got some plans. I got either knight a4 followed by knight c5. Or I could just let him uh, let him take the pawn and take back with the uh, the f pawn and uh, go ahead and play h3 and g4 something like this. G5, a very surprising move. Um, so I guess he's trying to attack me. Let's uh, not panic and just play h3 with the idea of potentially playing g4. He goes here. Is this a free pawn? Can I, can I take it? Takes, he's gonna take here. Or do I play g4? I think g4 makes sense. His knight has to go away and then queen g6 check. Whoa, what is this? Uh, I almost got mate. Okay, wait a sec. Let me be precise here. I'm gonna take this one first. I'm gonna take this one next. And then I'm gonna take that one. I always have queen g6 check lurking. Always have queen g6 check lurking. So let's see. Okay, takes. Now queen g6 is a threat. So if he takes here, I got check followed by bishop d3. And he might really be in trouble. Actually, it's a really tough position for him now. If he plays queen e8, I might go h4 and just get all my pawns uh, rolling. Um, I think h4 here makes sense. I am up one pawn, but this pawn is dead. I don't have to collect it right away. I could just play queen g6, try to play bishop d3, and try to mate him. Let's see what's going on. Okay, he goes here. I guess I could just take this guy over here. And let him take my rook. So my rook is well placed on the uh, f file. I could have taken and take, taken with the king, but I feel that uh, it's better to play this way. Now, queen d3 incoming. He's playing queen here. Uh, what is the most precise way here? I got a lot of options. Um, ideally, I want to get my rook to um, my rook to f7. So I'm just going to go ahead and push g6 and try to put my... Uh, oh, wait. He's, he's threatening to take here. But is it even a threat? Um, I didn't see this, to be honest. It's a very interesting move. Can I play queen e3? But the queen, queen e3, he takes here. It's a little bit annoying. Um, if I play rook here, he's going to take and play bishop d6. I'm not 100% happy with what I did, but you know what? This is part of life. Uh, you deal with the bad decisions that you made. So I'm going to let him take here and just play bishop d3. And uh, hopefully that uh, my queen, bishop, and rook will be enough. To, um, to try to convert this position. Even though I lose this pawn, I think I'm still up a pawn and I'm still in good shape. Uh, D4, what is the point of that move? Can I just take this guy? I guess so. If he takes, I'm just going to play bishop D3. Whoa, what is this? Is this, is there something I'm missing here? I don't feel that he has something. I don't think that works. Um, if he takes here, I play queen d8 check, followed by bishop d3. He's probably made it very soon. Bishop d7. Uh, what is the point of that move? No clue. So just, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Queen e3 check, maybe? Maybe queen e3 check. Uh, do I have rook f7, though? Rook f7 looks good. I'm threatening this and that without giving him any sort of counterplay. So too lazy to calculate what happens after queen e3 check if I take uh, with the queen. But here, um, I'm just gonna 
just going to take the bishop without giving him an inch. All right, so he goes here, and uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the queen. All right, Jazzy Chess, GG. Thanks so much for playing. Okay, we got uh, Vivek A64. Best of luck to you, buddy. Let's play. We have never played before. Oh, no, I don't like those openings. I like uh, sharper games, but uh, let's see what he does. Okay, let's play here. Okay, please don't take on c5. Please play, play b5. Okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. Symmetrical, uh, symmetrical pawn structure. Let's see what happens. Uh, bishop here, what does he want? Can I just play bishop here? So bishop e6 threatening to uh, take c4. Um, so bishop e6, what's great about this move is that with his bishop on g5, he can't harass me anymore. So in some positions where I play bishop e6, he has knight g5. But here he no longer has it. So let's see. I'm expecting b3. Um, and b3, I'm going to have to find something, maybe a tactic along the, the diagonal. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But he seems to struggle to, to find a move here. b3 is not a pleasant move to play. Um, I have a lot of options against b3. Maybe h6 is a, is a good move. h6 trying to drive his bishop somewhere here. Uh, wait, what, what is he doing? Can I just take a free pawn here? I mean, I've done worse. I gave, uh, I gave my knight on c6 for free in the last banter. So uh, who am I to criticize? Okay, so I'm going to take c4. And unless he has something concrete, I think I'm just up a pawn. Maybe knight d2 here, try to double my pawns. Uh, bishop here, can I play b6? Oh, maybe I run into the same kind of problems. Okay, uh, what to do here? Maybe knight d5. Knight d5 takes, rook takes, and then b2 hangs at the end of the variation. I like this. I like this. Um, although he could play a rook b1 and maybe grab b7. Yeah, this position is messy. Let's take like this first and think after. So you see, if he takes on c5, I could either play b6, but then he has bishop a3. Else I take here, rook b1, bishop f6 takes. And do I have bishop f3 at the end of the line? I don't know, and I'm not sure. So let's go here. a2 might fall. Uh, rook b1 here, Ezekiel Miller. Thank you so much for the wishes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, takes here. Takes here. Okay, now do I move the knight? Do I move the... Can I move this here? What's the most precise here? Takes, rook takes, takes. He has to take with the bishop. Or can I just take this guy? This is very drawish. I'm not really happy about uh, what's going on here. I'm not really happy about what's going on. So he can take, take, bishop takes a7. Uh, rook b1 check, bishop here. Nothing concrete. Nothing concrete here. Uh, let's see. thinking so he's gonna find it undisputed says you are in top attacking shape today i don't know about that i mean uh the first game was really nice uh against you i think undisputed but this one is a very uh very boring end game and just uh secretly uh building my time advantage and you know what's gonna happen when the position will be completely equal so uh knight d2 this is a very, very strange move because uh, he's pinning his own knight. So I could play uh, I could play bishop d5, 
which uh, solves the problem of having this knight under attack, uh, which I think is good. I think I like this move. Uh, he's probably going to play e4. And against e4, I can chill and just play bishop e6. And if he plays e5, then it costs him a pawn to, uh, to get this discover, discovery. But uh, bishop c3 is a direct threat. He can't move the knight because I take the rook. And um, else, I don't know what he's doing. He's only got a minute, and I think I'm doing very fine here. Rook c7. Okay. Um, so maybe knight e5 makes some sense because I'm blocking the pawn. Also threatening to play something like bishop g4, even knight c4. For an example, if he takes here or if he takes on a7, I think bishop g4 is really annoying. Um, I don't see a way for him to uh, to save this. Um, even bishop b3 could be annoying, so uh, we'll see. Okay, rook takes. So I'm going to get rid of his rook. Now the question is, how do I convert this? What is the most precise way? Uh, knight c4 looks very precise to me because if he takes, I win a whole rook. Against bishop e3, I plan to take, take, and play bishop g4. So I think this does it. Okay, let's just uh, take here and play bishop g4. Um, bishop f3 I just take and I think this is game over I win uh, I win a minor piece so solid performance um, I mean it was probably equal the whole time or maybe slight advantage for me but uh, ended up pinning his own knight and uh, that gave me the victory so Vivek a64 thank you for playing thanks for playing okay we got uh, Ezekiel Meller all right, get in here. Let's play. Let's play. Okay, let's see what he does here. E4. Okay, let's go. Let's go C5. Let's uh, not do anything uh, crazy. Knight C3. I guess Knight C6. Uh, he goes here. I take. Knight takes. I'm going to play Bishop here. Uh, Bishop E3. Knight f6, all very normal. f3, f3, I think it's suspicious. I go castle and uh, I got d5 in one move. He goes knight, knight b3 though. Maybe I should have played d5 first. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go here. Okay, now bishop e6, rook c8. And I got a classic uh, plan of play uh, knight e5 and maybe knight c4. He goes here. Can I even go here now? Bishop c4, if he takes, I take with the knight. He has some issues with the bishop on e3 as well as the pawn on b2. Okay, so he's forced to uh, to go back. I'll play a6 and maybe b5. Uh, over here. Knight d2. Okay, let's just go knight d7. Putting some pressure um, here. Uh, queen g3. Uh, wait, is he giving me this? I'm confident that I won't get made it. Well, <laughs> maybe it's a false confident, but uh, I'm going to do my best to not get made it. Although he just gave me a second pawn here. So um, I think I'm going to block with f6 at some point. But for now, let's play queen b6. And if you go something like queen h4, I'll block it. Okay, this doesn't concern me too much. Uh, I could play h5, although I cannot play f6 afterwards. Uh, let's just play something like queen e3 and uh, just uh, get full control in this position. Uh, or could I even play queen h6 here? Yeah, am I, am I just winning a pawn here?
Yeah, and I, I don't even mind exchanging queens. If he plays queen g4, I just take with the queen. I'm already up two pawns. Okay, he resigns. So GG, Mr. Ezekiel. That was fun. Uh, knight driver, let's play. Okay, I got a first uh, stronger player today. 2300, or at least almost. I've never played him. So I'm going to play d4. Okay, c4. Um, and Disputed says, do you have a strategy to deal with people who aggressively push pawns against your king? I normally don't know what to do in a Nidorf or Sveshningen. Sorry about scrapping this word when that happens. Uh, well, first of all, Undisputed, uh, maybe you should just study some theory. And uh, if you know that it's not sound for people to push pawns, uh, collect them. <laughs> just take them and defend yourself. Uh, you have to uh, be able to defend yourself to be able to be a pawn grabber. Um, other than that, I mean, you are around 1500. Yeah. So maybe some people who are pushing pawns against you are banking on the fact that tactically or defensively, you are not at your best. Um, although you should just maybe train your tactics, train your defensive skills and just grab those pawns, uh, aggressively pushing your pawns. I mean, it happens to me all the time. And uh, it's something that uh, you really have to deal with. Should I put my queen here? Let's play queen c2 here. Maybe queen f2. I'll try to push e4. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to tell you, Mr. Uh, Undisputed. But um, I wish that I could have a game in which my opponent plays like this and push his pawn super aggressively. Uh, can I play e4 here? Takes, takes, knight g4. Oh, he has bishop h2. Ooh, this is nasty. Uh, maybe g4. I don't know about g4, but we'll see. Maybe g4, h3, and then e4. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure I'm playing sound chess here. And I'm playing a good player, so I'm kind of scared here. Um, okay, c5. I guess I won't touch this. I'll let him take. So I could take and play knight b5. I could play bishop d2. Let's play bishop d2. Takes, I'm going to take back. Otherwise, uh, okay, I'm going to take back here. And um, I'm going to have to be careful here. Because g4 is like very committing. Friedel, what's up? Thanks for uh, the wishes. Whoa. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Okay, wait. Takes, bishop takes h. Although I got, I got queen. I got queen f7 here. He has to be careful. If he takes queen f7... And the position is a mess. Takes queen f7, king here, queen takes, threats mate, queen h4. Oh man. And then bishop f4, but takes, takes queen h2. Okay, he goes here. But now, can I just play here? Did he just sack a piece for no reason then? I think he just sacked for no reason. Okay, let's go here. Uh, he goes here. I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to have to take that. But the question is, how do I take it? I think I should take it like this and play bishop c4. If he plays e3, I just take it. Okay, he castles. So now I'm just up a full bishop and I need to find the right setup um, to just convert this. So it's either it's either bishop e3 or bishop c3 and I need to attack this pawn. And I have to bank on the fact that he can't play f5. I either go rook c3 and king g2. So I, I put everything on light squares and I don't think he has much. Okay, he goes here. Wait, is he trying to play queen b6 and b Okay, I can just play here, I guess. Okay, he goes here. Now I can just take this guy. And then 
He goes here. Can I, can I take this? Or just bishop b4 should be enough. And I think I should expect resignation very soon. Very, very soon. Okay, bishop here. I guess I can just take this. Yes. Okay, GG, Mr. Knight Driver. Um, so in this position, maybe he sacked too early because I was looking at this here and it's kind of messy because I go here, he goes here, I go here. I don't think taking is the right idea. Although maybe taking and go queen h4. But then what happens over here? Maybe I can play rook f3, threatening uh, rook rook h3 and he's kind of in trouble what if i what if he goes here maybe this is a better move now things are messy because he's threatening to play queen h2 i can't really play bishop f4 as i said during the game because he can just take here and take here and i'm in deep trouble um so what's going on here am i am i getting made it oh no wait 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 wait! i didn't see this move okay just queen d6 and i defend this okay so actually i think his sack was bad um if he had the same position with the rook here i think the sack is really good but unfortunately maybe he missed queen f7 so he just sacked the piece and um it wasn't too good afterwards okay let's go uh let's go in full screen mode and remind you guys that uh, you can challenge me by becoming a premium member. Save fifteen percent with this beautiful promo code Bishop H six. Uh, I have a lot of spots available if you guys want to want to play. Uh, I'm very far from uh, from three thousand, so really no need to feel bad about beating me today on my birthday. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna go into the pool and look for a three minute games. Uh, I haven't lost a game yet. And this banter having a lot of fun honestly i don't care too much about the chess today if i lose i lose i'm just happy to uh celebrate my birthday with you guys whoa 26 2685 okay this is a big challenge today uh so let's play uh the usual stuff he's playing super fast uh super confident so it's gonna be maroxy bind uh something that i uh, have a lot of experience with uh but also a very solid opening for white and uh, okay, he goes here, he, he, and then he's supposed to play f3 or something. What is his idea? He doesn't play f3, okay. So let's take here in bishop c6, f3, a5, preventing b4. And now I go here, and uh, bishop e3, knight c5. And I know that in some lines I can play a variation with e6, but now I'm just gonna go play the classical way, and I think I put my queen back on um, f8 and I think I'm supposed to go queen f8 h5 king eight, king h7 and uh, go Magnus style so let's go here and I think h5 king h7 is the way to go uh, if he goes here I think I'm taking him and playing knight a4 um, if he takes if he takes do, do I take okay now I have to think for the first time. I play b5. He's coming with uh, with knight d4 next move. Should I just go back with my bishop? Okay, maybe I should go back with my bishop and put some pressure here. Oh, knight f4. Okay, this is a bit annoying. Is he trying to go knight d5? But knight d5, maybe I just play e6. Uh, bishop d7 is an interesting move because uh, on b5, he never wins a tempo on my bishop. Now he goes back, he's playing super quickly and super confident. Something I don't like. Can I play b5 here? Can I play b5? Takes knight c3. Uh, but maybe he has c5. Maybe I made a mistake here. What do we do against c5? He goes here, can I play knight c3? Knight c3, rook c1. I think this is fine. Uh, rook c1 and then can I take this with the bishop? Although he can take. No, this is bad. So I have to take like this. Takes, takes. But then he takes everything. He takes everything and my pawn is hanging. So if I take with the bishop. Uh, takes. I think I can take with the bishop. If he takes here, I take with the rook. 
I hope I'm fine. It's really suspicious what I did. It's really suspicious. So if he takes here, I'm going to take back. If he takes here, bishop takes, rook takes, but then, yeah, I think I'm fine. So here, bishop takes, rook takes, bishop takes here. Although, not really. Okay, um, I think it's a lucky break that he didn't take the knight. He could have gotten uh, two pieces for rook. Um, now, can I take this guy? He's going to take with the queen and play knight g5 check, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, let's take here. He can play knight g5 check. I'm going to go here. Uh, can I play knight d4? If he takes, I take back with check. Okay, he doesn't. So now, uh, this is a little bit annoying again. Can I play bishop here? Starting to run out of time. Um, okay, I have to play this, although it's a little bit sad. He didn't take it. So uh, let's put queen here. I'm going to have to uh, hurry a little bit. He goes here. Can I play rook here? If he plays here. I'm going to have to play takes and f6. He doesn't go here. Um, so I think I'm going to have to exchange the bishop against the knight at some point. Or at least play queen here and just be solid with rook b7. Oh man, this is a really messy game here. This is a really messy game. I don't know what's going on. Can he take, take and play queen here and knight e6 or something? Uh, wait a sec. Okay, got to take this. Uh, can I play queen d7? Maybe rook h8. I made a mess out of this game. Really made a, a mess out of this game. Okay, takes. Can I take here? No, I have to take here. What am I doing? Uh, rook h8. What? This is beautiful. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. I uh, gotta take this. Okay, let's go here. See counterplay. Gotta see counterplay. Check. 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 Uh, F6. Check over here. Check over here. Wow. Really fortunate. So fortunate. Oh my God. Okay. I was getting, I'll play the whole game and I managed to uh, save this, swindle it and flag him. Wow. Okay. Uh, GG, Mr. Liu Ashby. Definitely a tough challenge. Uh, Rikala wants to play. Okay. Wow. My heart is pounding. So nervous this game. Uh, almost lost to 2600, which according to my rating, I should beat all the time, but no, it's not the case. Those players are so good. And uh, that was a really good game. Wow. Okay. Frozzy incoming soon. Wow. Wow. Good night, Fridel. Good to good to see you. Uh, Han 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 We from France says Frozzy incoming soon. Okay. Uh, that's good to uh, that's good news. Uh, someone who will uh, beat me maybe. Uh, he goes here. I think I can go here. I can play d6 here. Bishop here. Uh, bishop here. Wait. Can I play check and take? Bishop here is suspicious. Takes. Okay, now he's gonna take here, take here, bishop d2. Okay, but this is just a, this is just a free pawn. Uh, can I just go queen here so he can't even castle? 
and it's going to cost him the exchange of a queen if he wants to uh, to castle. So queen a4, okay, rook here. I'm just going to go bishop here. Rook c3, queen a6. He still can't castle, and it's uh, really annoying, annoying that he can't. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to go here. If you guys are on YouTube right now, I'm not reading the chat. I'm only reading the chat on Chess24 and Twitch. So please, 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 you guys should come and join the party on Chess24 and Twitch. Because whatever love you're sending, I'm not receiving it. <laughs> so you guys uh, are welcome to join the party here. Queen H4, I'm going to play uh, Bishop G7. And maybe he can go all out with... Uh, Rook here, but I don't know. I'm just taking here. Whoa, this is a surprising move. Okay, what's going on? If I take, he takes. I think this is good enough. I go here. Uh, queen takes. I cannot take this because he's got queen g4 check. Uh, am I playing with fire if I take? Or should I just go here? I think this is the safest option. I don't want to go uh, fishing here. He can't castle, so let's uh, let's not give him anything. I'm threatening to play rook b1. Um, right now, material is I'm up a pawn. If I take, he goes here, so let's just play rook b2 i guess unless i can play queen d3 queen d3 queen g4 um okay what is the most efficient way here i think queen d3 is pretty good i want to take d4 and he can't castle if he plays queen g4 check i'll just play e6 and queen d3 takes away those two squares for his queen which is uh which is good because otherwise he can attack c6 Bishop here, he might run into some trouble after this move over here. He goes here, I'm just going to play e6. Although I'm not threatening mate yet. Uh, okay, I, I can just take here and uh, win this endgame very easily. I'm first going to play rook here so he doesn't get rook b1, and then I'm just going to take here. Yes. Okay. Ricola. Good game. Good game. Uh, we got Mr. What's his name? It's my birthday and I'm getting old. I can't read. Flink. Flink. Hopefully I pronounce this correctly. Let's play Knight of Three and play something uh, more conservative. Uh, okay, let's play c4, just to see if he's going to play b4. If he plays d4, it's good. I get a reverse Benoni. Goes here, I'm just going to take. Knight c3. Let's see what he does. Candidate passed. Patser, man, you look so much older. So much older than what? Be careful what you're going to say. Uh, I'm going to play castle here. Uh, let's just play takes and d3. <coughs> Can I play bishop d2? I have to be careful not to give away this over here. Although I could maybe play bishop e3. And if he takes rook b1 followed by knight d4 or something. Um, if he plays b6, b6 I still have knight d4. So he has to be very careful here. Okay, takes, I'm going to go here. Although maybe he can take here. But I have queen c2 and I... I think I'm trapping his bishop now. Can I go here? I think this is best. He has to move the queen, and then I can take this. And I think my pressure is good enough on c5 so that he won't be able to defend everything. So um, for an example, okay, he takes here. But now he has some issues when I take here and I take here, right? Or he plays bishop h3. 
Action HD takes, takes. Okay, maybe I just, I just take this one first. So this one is still weakness. Bishop d7, rook d7. I think this is good. Uh, yes, candidate Patser, I look older than last month for sure. Uh, well, thank you so much, Ezekiel, for uh, dropping by. I really, uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, let's go here. Uh, <laughs> Decker, you don't look a day over 52. Well, hope so. Hope so, Decker. Okay, so here. Can I take this here? Or is he gonna play rook c8? Is he trying to uh is he trying to trick me here? Or can I just play here? Hmm, what's going on? Takes rook c8. Mm, queen b1. What's going on? And rook c7. Let's just go here. If he takes, I'm gonna take with the other rook. At least I get control of the uh of the b file. Frozigul! Wow, long time no see. Long time no see Frozy Ghoul. Are you here to uh are you here to, to kill my Benoni? Is this what you're here for? Uh wait, this pawn is hanging too. Okay, let's just take this first. Because I'm attacking two pieces, so I'm forcing a reaction, forcing him to take the bishop. If he goes here, I have Queen B8 check, followed by Queen F8 mate. So takes, takes, rook somewhere, and then I have at least uh Queen A8 check followed by Bishop C6. And now material is even. He goes here. Now this is a this is under attack. So maybe just uh, e3. Although this this rook really needs to be activated. So maybe queen f6 and then rook a1. He goes here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, queen f6. My idea is to play rook a1, but maybe he has um, rook b8. Rook b8 could be annoying potentially. So I'm going to have to be uh, very careful if he plays rook b8, maybe h4, h5. Uh, not only am I trying to get an escape square for my king, but I'm also uh, also attacking. Uh, he's trying to get this pawn over here. Uh, I can't really do something about that. Do I play h4? He takes. That's not pleasant. Let's go bishop e4. Bishop h3. I got rook a1. He goes here. I'm practically forced to trade. Or can I play here? Am I crazy if I go here? D5. It's too complicated for my taste. Uh, he goes here. So let's uh, let's go here. Oh, but bishop h3 is annoying. Oh man, this guy is uh he's playing a good game so far. So I'm gonna have to go king G yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to trade here. And uh I don't think I'm better here. Okay, he goes here. Now if I go here, queen c1 check. Takes, takes, this is really dangerous. So let's play h4 first to avoid any kind of nonsense. He just offered a draw, but I'm not accepting a draw against someone 800 points lower. So let's just uh play for a win here. Let's to create something. I'm not by any mean claiming that I'm better. Uh, actually, maybe I am after this move. Actually, maybe I am after this move. Um, okay, if I take, if I take, he's gonna play rook c1. But then, I think against rook c1. Oh no, bishop d5. Oh my god, what a blunder. Oh my god, I didn't see that. I might lose here. Oh my God, don't see it, please. Please don't see it. Please don't see it. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose. No, this is really sad. Oh my God. Really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. Oh my God, what a blunder. Why didn't I see that? This is so sad. Okay, I'm gonna have to go here. Hopefully he takes, but he's gonna check here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get made it. This is a very sad situation. Bishop e6 check, hopefully, so I can at least be down in exchange. Oh my god. Guys, this is really sad. Okay, oh, okay, he's giving me hope here. 
Okay, he's giving me hopes. Let's go here. Let's play bishop d3. He's really giving me hope. If he didn't play bishop e6 check, it would have been in good shape. And now, I don't know what's going on. I can still fight. Let's go here. I have some sort of compensation here. Let's go here. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Now I got some uh, g5 check ideas. Really? Really? You're going to take a draw here? I almost want to flag you here. Please play for a win. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Uh, let's go here. Okay, I think draw is a fair result. It's fine. It's fine. I was expecting to lose. Um, it's hard to flag him in this position. He still have 43 seconds. Well played, Mr. Flink. Um, I think Flink, I think it's completely over if you take here. Because I don't have rook a check, so I don't have a mate. And if I play check, you just go king here. And there's nothing I can do about uh, bishop g4 check. So yeah, Flink, really well played. I can't believe I blundered, but uh, uh, wow. Okay, really good game, really good game. My uh, winning sequence came to an end here. Uh, let's play Frozy Ghoul. Okay, Frozy Ghoul is here to uh, to kill me. So let's not play a Benoni because I know I'm going to lose against him. Uh, Frozy Ghoul, let the chat know, were you 2700 when uh, we used to play in the day? Back in the days when I was in Toronto or something? Uh, I have a feeling that you were maybe low rated. Um, 2700, wow. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, King Zenzian here. And I'm, I'm not going to go for Benoni because Frizzigil is way too strong. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Uh, bishop e2, castles. Okay, let's go uh, bishop g4 here just to uh, switch things up. Uh, now let's play c5, let's say. d5, now let's play e6. We get into a sort of a different Benoni here. <coughs> okay, he takes like this. Uh, I think he can play rook e8. Whenever he plays h3, I just take that. Yeah, let's take it here. Um, now let's play knight here. My idea is to go knight e5. Knight e5, bishop e2, though. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, let's play a6 so there's no knight b5 nonsense. a6, a4. Um, can I play queen here, maybe followed by queen f8? I really want to be able to uh, to play knight e4 at some point. Maybe h5. Okay, he goes here. Now knight e5 here. Maybe h5. Uh, now he goes here. Let's play king h7. Maybe with bishop h6. We will see what happens. Okay, very aggressive move by my opponent. Can I take? Can I take it and play, or should I not take it? What should I play here? Is this good? Is this good? Takes. Okay, did I just blunder? No, this is really terrible. This is really terrible chess. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Oh, no, that would be okay. I'm not even... Uh... Wait. Okay. Okay. It was too good to be true. Too good to be true. Um, yeah, I'm basically lost here. Basically lost here. If I took knight g5 check, wins my queen. Wow. Okay. Not my best effort here. I think, I think I'm losing this one. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This definitely doesn't look good. Okay, 95. You can take here, rook here. You can collect another pawn. I'm just uh, going for cheap holes here. F4 is probably good. He goes here. I'm going to go queen F6. Maybe he won't see knight F3 check, followed by queen takes rook. Hopefully he doesn't see it. 
Actually, am I winning back a piece here? I mean, I'm one back in exchange. Still completely lost. Okay, let's go here. He has rook. Uh, he has rookie one. Okay, let's go back here. Check over here. Um, okay, b6. He can probably trap my queen or something. Or that. Um, he's threatening to play check. So I have to go here. Check king h6. It is a very sad life. Um, trying to take the pawn over here. Hopefully, what kind of blunder can he do here? Wait, what? What is he doing? Does he want knight takes or something? Okay, is he is he starting to panic? Am I sensing that he's panicking here? Uh, can I take this? Okay, let's go back. Oh, queen g7 mate. All right, GG for Zigul. I deserve fully to lose this game. Okay, okay, okay. Back in the low 2900s. Hey, hey, getting older and weaker. What do you want me to say? Okay, uh, let's accept this 1400 challenge. Did I lose two games in a row? Oh no, I just drew and lost. Okay, let's uh, get myself together and win one game. And then uh, let's go back at it. Okay, I'm really, really hitting a new low here. Frizzy Gold, GG. Bishop h6, you know, the promo code, really not working for me tonight. Bishop h6, I lost a piece. Really bad move. Okay, hopefully I'm going to play better next game. Let's play c5. What a bad, bad, bad game. Uh, let's go here. Uh, can I play knight a5? Or am I getting trapped? Wait a sec. Now I got knight here, threatening to take here, and threatening to take here. Yeah. Okay. Um, should I even take here? You know what? Why would I risk it? Um, I risk it because... Yeah, let's just take the full rook and survive this. Now I take this. Uh, let's play b6 just to come back with my knight. Can't believe I uh, dropping uh, pieces like that. Unacceptable. Five. Uh, okay, just bishop d7. Maybe queen g7, e4, trade queens. Um, f4 should be good enough here. Takes, I take back. And then I'm going to have to open up the position by playing b5 or something. Take care, Zia. Always good to see you. Um... Yeah, f4, that should be good. All right, take here, check, maybe b5. Okay, this is a free knight. He's going to play queen h2. Let's check him here. If he goes king g3, I'll just trade queens. Uh, he goes here, so I'm just going to play here. Uh, now, can I play check? Here, let's get the rook. Uh, let's play here. Try to play queen d2 h5 i'm just gonna go queen h5 okay let's go check here let's take this okay gg buddy
And uh, wow, Flink wants a rematch. Uh, but I'm going to give a 2600 first Mr. Kevin a chance to uh, to beat me. It's been a rough banter. Okay, 2-0 for me against this guy. Hopefully he can win. Let's play Benoni now. I mean, how worse can it go than the game against Frizzigil? He is ready for me. Okay, he's playing the lane with uh, this. And I think from what I remember that it's this. Abdu, good to see you. I think it's 9G4. Thank you so much, um, Abdu. Yes, Frizzigil, Bishop H6, really bad move. Can't believe I didn't see the tactic. I think I was only looking at Bishop takes F6 or something. So 95, F4, Knight here, Knight C4, I think I go Knight B6. But then I don't know what's my follow-up. Is it Bishop here? A5, Knight C8. I don't remember theory here. Um, it's going to be an interesting game regardless. Should I sack a pawn here? Um, play F5? F5, F5, A5. Okay, let's, let's do it. He doesn't have time to play knight c4. So I think I can take here. a5, let's go here. He, he has to take at some point. And then I play bishop f5. And then the other knight comes here. Yeah, bishop f5. But what I'm concerned about is that he might come to um, e6 with his knight. Which is a little bit annoying. So let's play b5. Takes, I'm gonna have to take back with the knight, but at least he doesn't get to play knight c4. Okay, now can I take it and play rook a7? Or play d5? I think d5 is reasonable. I'm threatening to take here. Um, f5, can I take? Takes, rook takes, takes, bishop takes. Am I fine here? Oh, queen h5. Very surprising move. Okay. Uh, what is he trying to do here? I don't have a lot of pieces. I have to be careful. So can I go here? Bishop g5 played instantly, which is very scary. Let's play queen d6. Okay, let's go here. Bishop f6. He is almost mating, but not quite. So I can play here. But now I have some threats of my own. I have some threats of my own. If I play here, he's gonna take. That's no good. Um, this is such a mess. Rook a7. Rook a7, e7. Takes, takes. Queen e8, rook g8. Hope I'm surviving this. This is really a mess. Okay, let's take here. I have to take. Let's go here. What's the count? Oh, I'm down a pawn. Not pleasant. Very unpleasant. Um, I have to play c4 here. Okay, let's play c4. B3. He's trying to... Uh... Okay, let's go here. And now I have to take like this. Okay, he goes here, knight d3, I guess. What a mistake. Oh my god, I'm playing so bad. Why did I not go with knight g6? Is this game over? I guess it is. Am I still over 2,900? Please, chess 24. Okay, 2,916. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I cannot lose another game. If I lose another game, I'm going below 2,900. Okay, uh, Flink wants to play. Okay, let's go Flink. The tilt is real. The tilt is real. I need some bullet games here. I need some bullet games. <laughs> Is the only thing I can do here to uh, feel better. It's been a tough banter. Maybe it's the wine. I'm, I'm blaming the wine. Guys, never drink wine. Um, okay, let's go here. H4, H5. Okay, let's go here. D5, 
You can even take that. You can even take that if he wants. I don't think there's any danger if he takes that. He's just playing really, really bad here. Uh, takes, queen e5, takes, takes, king takes. Yes, he's taking it. Okay. Now let's uh, let's play for counterplay. If there is any, he can definitely take it. G4. Okay. He's giving me a small chance here. Can I play? Can I play b6? Or is he gonna play a e5? Um, wait a sec. Knight here, queen here, queen here maybe. King b1. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Uh, okay, king b1. Now let's go here. So then, every time he plays a knight on d5, I can always exchange on d2. Uh, okay, he goes here. Now, can I play knight e5? Let's go knight e5, maybe with uh, bishop e6 and knight c4. h5, he's really coming for, uh, he's really coming for my king. So it takes, f takes, and then, but then, but then I'm, I'm trying to play something like rook d8 or something. Bishop here, maybe bishop h8. Uh, g5, I'm going to go knight h5. At least my bishop is controlling this. <coughs> Finally, a pawn pusher says undisputed. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to survive this attack based on, uh, based on what we, we've seen today. Um, I can't even resist or survive against normal play. So it's been a tough banter today, but hey, it's my birthday. So everything is good. Um, everything is good. I should not complain too much after all uh can i take this he's trying to play knight here i think i got to take this rook f8 trying to put some pressure here um f4 i guess knight g4 but then bishop here could be annoying let's go king here i don't think i have a good game here I'm going to have to find some counterplay. Oh, maybe b5 is interesting. He sees it. He obviously sees it. a4, I got this. This little sweet little tactic. I still, uh, still got some tactics in me. Let's take this and try to create something. Uh, he takes back rook d8 check. He goes here. I'm going to take. Uh, can I play rook b8? Maybe rook b8 was more precise. Maybe rook b8 would have been more precise. Uh, he wants to take here and take here. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, that was a mistake. I should not have done that. Oh man, this is not looking good. Let's go for, uh, for cheap tricks. Let's go for cheap tricks. So bishop takes knight d3. I'm trying to take this pawn. Okay, he obviously saw it. Um, let's push h4, not lose more material. Maybe trying to push h3. He plays here. Now let's go here, threat b5. Let's see what he does. He goes here. Um, I guess I can go knight g4. Still threatening to take d5. Okay, h5, if he takes, knight takes, and this is the way I will save my knight. He goes here, I'm going to take here. Uh, rook takes here. Now, what's going on? Okay, let's play rook d8. There's something I'm probably missing here. Okay, let's get this. Okay, wow. It's been a while and I don't remember the feeling of winning a game. It feels so good. You know, in life, sometimes you take things for granted. Well, definitely winning this game is a good feeling after losing like a million in a row. Wow, okay, okay. Uh, let's go into 
the pool and look for some fish because clearly you guys are too good for me. Clearly you guys are too good for me. I'd like to thank everyone who has joined the, the Banter Blitz so far for this special birthday edition. Uh, if you guys are on YouTube, come on Chess24 or Twitch to wish me happy birthday. Um, I'm really giving gifts. You guys are not uh, are not nice to me. I've been giving all my reading today on my birthday. Dropped, uh, I don't know how many points, but uh, close to 2,900 now. I was 3,000 not even a week ago. So let's go fishing and try to find an opponent. 2,900, wow, 2,900, Manuel, okay. Manuel 1965, never played him. Good news is now uh, beating him gives me a lot of rating because we're both 2900. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he wants to play. Yes, Undisputed is saying that it's your birthday, but you're the one giving gifts in form of points. Definitely. Okay, 2900. It would be good if I could finish strong and at least beat someone decent here. Um, so let's see. C5, I think it's 92. Okay, takes. And I remember bishop e7. There are some variations with d5, but I'm going to choose to play uh, knight f4. Takes, I go d5, I take, and bishop d3. Uh, d6, I think it's bishop e2. And e5, I think I can take this, take that, and go knight d5. Uh, okay, knight d5. And can I can I just take this? Takes takes bishop d6. What's going on? And then can he play bishop e6? But then I can just castle and play rook d1. This should be fine for me. At least I hope so. So let's take here. He has to play bishop d6. Oh, he's giving me the bishop pair. I'm gonna take the bishop pair. And uh, okay, how do I organize myself though? He's coming back here very quickly. Uh, he's coming back here very quickly. So um, can I do something about it? Uh, Bishop f3, knight here, takes, takes. That's very drawish. Okay, let's go here. Okay, d3. Bishop f3. Oh, he can play here. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't think that was too good. Oh, he has rook b6. I'm playing very, very bad. Yeah, not playing good chess. He can take here, rook b1. Then it's a mess. Yeah, let's go here. Rook b6, bishop b5. He goes here. Can I take? Or am I losing again? I think I have to take here. I have to go here. A6. Can I go bishop e3? I'm trying to survive this endgame. Yeah, this is going to be a tough endgame to survive. I'm down a pawn. Or can I play here? Bishop d6. Bishop here. What's best? Um, bishop, bishop here, I guess. Okay, I gotta play fast here. I gotta play really fast. Okay, bishop here, rook c1. And let's get, let's go forward with my king. I gotta move fast here. Okay, let's go here. He's gonna create possibly another pass pawn. Um, g3 okay let's go here um h4 so i'm trying to just be very solid here can i play f4 let's go here probably gonna play rook here okay let's go here king here i can play rook c1 Bishop c3 next. Bishop c3 is following. Um, let 
let's go here. Really got to do something concrete here. Because here now, I think this is best. Although he has, he has king here now, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, king here is strong. He didn't see it. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go here. Uh, let's go here. Let's play h5. Got to create something here. Check. He's down to almost no time. He just offered a draw, but he clearly doesn't know who I am. Let's go here. Let's go here. And I'm going to shamelessly flag him. Wow. Okay. Well, I really don't care how I win my games, but bottom line, I beat a 2,900. Okay. Feels good. Feels good. Oh no, not Serge. Serge, I'm so happy to see you, but this is really not a good moment. <laughs> no, I'm bleeding so much. I'm bleeding so much right now. I don't need to get, go below 2,900. Serge, thank you so much for, <laughs> for dropping by. We are only nine minutes away from finishing the banter. We could have a bullet match if you want, but uh, I, I I think I uh, gave enough rating tonight. This is crazy. Uh, what's my rating now? 2932. It's really sad, but maybe I started around 2940 or something. Um, you can play some bullets, Serge, if you if you insist, but uh, no blitz. Frizzy Go wants to play some bullet. Okay, let's go Frizzy Go, and then maybe some games with Serge. Okay, Frizzy Go is 2500 and bullet let's do it let's do it for Ziggle. this is uh, revenge hopefully and i'm black again this is crazy okay and he's all prepped against me okay let's take this and c7 Uh, let's play b6. Let's go here. Rook e3. Trying to create something. I'm going to try to play queen e7. So let's go here. And king f8. So there's no nonsense. Let's play check. Let's take here. Let's go here. Uh, okay, am I safe? Am I safe here? Okay. Okay, let's take this. Oh my God. Okay, Frizzy Girl, let's go, let's go, let's go. Took the first one. Hopefully with white it's gonna be better because Frizzigil is so good. Okay. We got a match. We got a match, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go here. Oh, that's a good move. Okay. Got no choice. Let's go look here. 
Okay, let's go here. What can I take? Okay, let's put a second rook. Uh, let's go here. I got some pressure now. Okay, let's go here. I'm trying to uh, to just push my pawns. Okay. Let's go here. Maybe that wasn't so smart. This queen is completely trapped. That's the beauty of it. And I'm up a bunch of time. Okay. All right. This is good. All right. Frizzigil, we're going to call it uh, call it even. Uh, I think Surge is challenging. So, oh my God, Surge is only 2,500. What? Okay, Surge, we're going to finish it with two games. Or maybe more. We'll see um let's do it let's do it that's a free pun okay let's go here uh before oh no that's a that's a full rook oh my god i don't see oh my god that was terrible this is really terrible. Um, C6. This guy is playing with fire. He is really playing with fire here. Uh, let's play here. Bishop B6 incoming. Yep. Uh, F3. Takes this guy. Uh, let's go here. Can I flag him here? Wow. Okay, Serge, let's play again. Those games are so tough, it's crazy. Okay, A6, B5. Did I drop an exchange? Of course I did. Of course I did. Okay. Let's go here, trying to take uh, on b2, maybe knight d3 with some nonsense. Oh, that's a queen. That's a queen. Oh my god. This is such a lucky break. Such a lucky break. It's amazing. Wow. Okay, well, the only good thing about this birthday banter is that at least I'm going to win some bullet games. I can, I'm old, but I can still play bullet. That's what this bullet, this banter stream has shown. Okay. GG, Mr. Surge. Okay, 4-0 in bullet. Wow, 
Okay, well, guys, thanks so much for uh, for being here. It's been tough. It's been tough. Uh, I probably dropped only a few rating points because I beat a 2900 at the end. But hey, guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the love. I've been streaming for uh, maybe five months now for Chess24, and it is a blessing to have you guys as fans. Always a pleasure. Next banter, probably on Friday. Uh, check the Chess24 schedule if you're not a premium member yet make sure to use my promo code bishop h6 to become premium follow the instagram i'm posting more and more some chess related stuff like this beautiful picture over here uh famous effing legend i haven't rocked this shirt in a while but uh we'll definitely be back with this beautiful t-shirt thank you so much for watching guys i had an amazing birthday with you guys and i will see you back on friday have a very good evening guys and talk to you soon bye bye